Hi, this is Bilal from CyberName. I'd like to show you how you can use Internet.net website to learn more about your domain name. You might need some information for your domain name, such as who is the registrar, when is the domain name going to expire, if it is ready to be transferred out. Intrig.net gives you information on every domain name on the TLD, GTLD level, such as .com, .net, .biz, .org. It does not work for other domain names, such as .trade, .bid, or new GTLDs, or .ca. So you can use Intrig.net in order to obtain information for your .com, .net, .org domain names. In that situate in that case i like to show you how you can learn the register of your domain name and when your domain name is going to expire in order to access that information after you open the page at internet.net click on search who is button in this example i like to use the domain name angelisa.com and click submit button after you click submit button it takes around 10 seconds and the next page will show you more details about this domain name that you can rely on. This domain name, which is angelisa.com, is controlled by the registrar CyberName Internet Software Technologies that incorporated, which is cybername.com, with the registrar ID 938. Name servers tells who is the service provider or that domain name. If it was cybername.com name servers, I will be able to tell you that these are the domain names we also provide service for. It's not necessarily required that we can be the registrar of a domain name, but the service might be provided by some other uh, service provider. In order to change domain name details, but you need to contact this company. If you have a problem with your website and emails, this is where you start your trace to the service provider company. It is not necessarily the service company will be vsign.com because some uh, some Companies can use different domain names, but in our case, we always use CyberName in our name servers. And status, client transfer prohibited. Uh, let me reverse this. Sometimes you might even see different name servers, but service still can be provided by CyberName. So, but this is a starting point to find out who is your service provider for your domain name. Sometimes it might be obvious. If you go to vsign.com, you might see a service provider. That's the company you need to contact for hosting or email. Sometimes not, but a quick search should give you the company name for that domain name. Status shows if the domain name is ready to be transferred out, meaning that to change the registrar. You might want to re change your registrar to another provider. One of the conditions you have to meet is domain name status should be OK instead of client transfer prohibited. So in that case, domain name cannot be transferred because it is locked. And domain name is going to be expired after November 9th. You need to transfer domain earlier than that because transfer may take up to seven days. And domain name is quite old, almost 10 years. The last update was today, October 12, 2016. An update means maybe name server or the name of the registrar, registrant or the address or email. In order to transfer domain from one registrar to another registrar, first requirement is domain name needs to be unlocked. In that case, it will show the status of OK here. And if you have the domain name status to be, to have, the unlock status, you can also request your registrar, in that case it will be us, to provide you an authorization code. Most of the time, these registrars have a user interface where you can access your domain name authorization code by contacting their support. In that case, you will, support, you will contact our support and we will tell you how to get to the authorization code for your domain name. Another small detail to transfer domain name out to another registrar is domain name needs to be older than 60 days. It means that if you register a domain name today, you need to keep that domain with the current registrar for another 60 days. Then you can start your transfer to another registrar if you need to. These are restrictions uh, implemented by ICANN, I C A N N, and 
main reason being to protect domain names to be stolen. This is a summary of how to use internet.net to access domain name details. For other extensions such as .ca, I will go and use the registry website at sira.ca and find who is on their website. You might be able to obtain similar information for that .ca domain name. For example, let's try cybername.ca. There we go. Domain name registrar is still us, and domain name expiry is, and the name servers are listed here. This is if you are going to check for your .ca domain name. Let's see if it shows the domain name status. It does not. Oh, on this register. There are other statuses that needs to be checked, such as the domain is dark or not, and it's not displayed here. Another tip, if you want to access to an extension's uh, detailed website, most of the time they start with NIC and ends with the extension name. In that case, say Nick Trade. Nick .trade takes you the who is or the regist registry for that, that trade domain name or Nick .kitchen. will take you donuts.co which is the registry for that domain name. May work for maybe 80% of the domain extensions. It does not necessarily work for every extension, but basically it's NIC domains. It's gonna also send you to donuts.co because these domains are managed by the registry called donuts. Again for .com, internic.net, search rules, and enter your domain for TLDs such as comnet, orgbiz, and net. Uh, let's see if I'm right that this works or not. Work for that piece as well. It gives even more details report if you search for that piece. But as you can see here, cybernet.ca won't give you anything. No match for domain.cybernet.ca because this website does not serve for that extension. For .ca, go to sira.ca. And for uh, other extension, try NIC, that extension name, it may be bit. There we go. Thank you for watching.